method. This video will introduce and discuss the fourth and final aspect of the Bean Framework, method sources. Use method sources to apply a critical lens, perspective, discourse, or style to your research. Discourse simply means the discussion of popular ideas and schools of thought that support an area of study within a specific discipline. Many of a discipline's tenets or rules will be either widely accepted or agreed upon, or sometimes not by scholars and practitioners in the field of study. An example method source for the humanities could be uh, using a particular ethical perspective or framework to analyze the works of fiction from different authors that you found maybe in a scholarly or literary journal. An example of a method source from science could be citing an article from a peer reviewed journal about a study that applies the same standard methodology as a previous research study used to answer maybe new research questions. In both cases, using a method source in writing is potentially adding new research to the popular discourse or discussion around these topics and keep the research cycle about them going. Pro tip, it's extremely important to choose a credible source to explain a method or approach for your research assignment. This source will be used to frame your argument if applicable and bring meaning to the research that you cite to your audience. The method source can provide a mental anchor of sorts for the audience so that they can engage with your topic in more concrete and relevant terms. And as always, the source's author, person or organization, should be someone with a measure of expertise in the area that presents the methodology or perspective accurately. You were probably taught to look for sources that are objective and completely free of bias. Some media outlets and other organizations view information through a deeply biased lens, and others seemingly lack the appearance of any bias at all. However, bias is everywhere, even when we do our best to avoid creating it. For this reason, I encourage you to focus less on identifying sources as biased or unbiased, and more on using credible scholarly and popular sources that don't hide their biases and consistently publish verifiable, accurate information. Credible sources use appropriate and current citations to back up claims, no matter their position on an issue. So be sure to investigate those sources in your research as you apply the BEAM framework to your writing.